Greetings, QRL community, crypto, and quantum enthusiasts. My name is Michael Strike, aka Strike Attack, and I'm thrilled to welcome you to the official Quantum Resistant Ledger channel, your video portal into post quantum blockchain security. If you don't know who we are, we are the only purpose built, open source, industrial grade, externally and dual audited quantum computer resistant blockchain that uses an NIST, the US government draft recommended post quantum secure digital signature scheme. See the links below for more information. So as many of you are aware, the crypto space has been playing a cyclical battle and sophisticated game of cat and mouse between developer creativity and ASIC engineer ingenuity. Developers hold off the ASIC engineers for as long as possible, but eventually the algorithm gets ported over to an ASIC. ASIC manufacturers then must slowly phase themselves into the ecosystem so as to avoid detection and maximize return in order to turn a profit on capital they've already spent to build the hardware and then position themselves for the next cycle. With millions, possibly hundreds of millions of dollars hanging in the balance or more, this modern day digital game of cloak and dagger has been playing out under a shroud of secrecy behind the scenes, a lot of times suspected by a community, but at times very difficult to prove. Some projects have taken the stance of scheduled automatic hard forks every six months and others have their own strategies. So before we get into the details of RandomX or QRandomX as it's referred to on the team, we need, a couple of, we need to cover a couple important things that you need to know. It's important to understand that ASIC resistance does not mean an ASIC cannot or will not be developed. Similar to a water resistant watch which can fail under pressure or time, history has shown us that enough incentive ASIC manufacturers have been very successful in adapting the hardware to algorithms. Ultimately this means that the goal of ASIC resistance is to drive the cost of manufacturing to be as high as possible or as complex as possible or both in order to make production of them uneconomical. So RandomX is the latest proof of work algorithm that is optimized specifically for general pr purpose CPUs. Um, it uses a special instruction set, integer math, floating point math, branches, and a few other techniques. So let's get down to it. How is RandomX different? What do I need to know? RandomX uses hard memory techniques in order to minimize efficiency of specialized hardware it's been independently audited four times, and at the time of this video, it's successfully running at Monero. To summarize how it works, it generates a random program using a special instruction set, compiles it, and executes it. The output's then generated into a cryptographic 256-bit secure hash, and it goes from there. So let's summarize it a little bit more. Here are the important things that you need to know. The QRL team is ultimately working towards proof of stake in favor of proof of work as a longer term strategy. And RandomX is considered an inter interim solution. You're gonna need a 64-bit CPU, as many cores as possible, logical or physical, and this will, these will give you the best hash rates. This is probably the most single important factor. DDR4 RAM clocked higher than 2133 megahertz has a big impact on hash rates as well. And depending on your operating system uh, or miner, you'll want to enable something called huge page support and enable something called locked pages in memory. And these can result in usually at least a 30% hash rate uh, when combined together. GPUs can be used to mine random X, but they're not very economical. For example, at around 200 watts, you can expect 1200 hashes per second on a Vega 64. Uh, but if you're considering uh, using a CPU, which you should, the AMD Ryzen CPUs, specifically the 3900X and the 3950X, offer the best hash rates. Uh, 3900X can give you around 10,000 hash rates or more per second, and a 3950 can give you upwards of 15,000 hash rates per second. So this should give you a good 10,000 foot view of what RandomX is about. For more information about the project, you can find our website at www.thecurl.org. And if you'd like to be notified of future videos, feel free to subscribe and thank you for watching.